So today I want to go through, uh, actually you'll see the date, September 8th, 2020. And this is a viral update uh, in which I gave a lot of predictions and I explained a lot of the viral vectors of what was going on in COVID. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, uh, the New York Times saw fit to do a hit piece on me two weeks later. So Irish guy in the New York Times. Uh, it, they hit Trump and then they followed on to me. <laughs> and they, um, but the funny thing was they questioned everything very carefully and to avoid defamation and they didn't really say a huge amount, they just questioned. So I'm going to go through what was in that video briefly on all the major points and then look back over two years and say, well, was I correct or not? Which in a sense is, were we correct or not? So one thing I ca called out was the Gompertz cur curve. I had interviewed Professor Michael Levitt, the Nobel Prize winner, and he had clearly called out Gompertz behavior, not in all regions of the world, you know, because viral dynamics are complex, but showed that, and you can see in Europe here in my first slide, clearly Gompertz across the board. And Sweden's in there as well. Sweden with no lockdown, no masks, and kids up to 16 in school throughout. And you can see there was no difference. So they questioned it, but it's apparent. Uh, I also included slides. These are German from the 1918 flu and look familiar. Yeah, same Gompertz curve, no lockdowns back then. You know, people hardly knew what was going on. So there you are. So we're going to use the checklist as I go through the facts in the matter. And this is because I'm an expert problem solver at 25 years or more in leadership of problem solving multi-factor complex problems. And we always do an autopsy after. 